How's it going everyone? Welcome back to yet another video and welcome actually to a brand new series on the channel called Blocks Talks. The show where I give my two cents on some FNAF tea in the community and then ultimately no one's even gonna care anymore after like half a week so whatever. Today's an interesting one though because you may have seen from the thumbnail but we're talking about a company that I actually just kind of praised in my latest FNAF news video. In fact, I gave them such a shout out that they even left a comment <laughs> saying, wow, that new merchandise looks pretty cool. Thank you for the shout out. Hey, thank you Cloak for actually commenting on the video. It means a lot. And this is their official channel, by the way. This is it. This is actually them. So if you're watching this video, Cloak, Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. So, what exactly is going on? Why am I all of a sudden going after Cloak after I just praised them in a FNAF news video? Well, first off, let me just fill people in if they actually don't know who Cloak is. Cloak is a clothing brand owned most prominently by Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and they're actually doing a new collaboration with FNAF. As you can see, they got new shirts, pants, beanies, apparently they're doing blankets too, I just saw this tweet today. They're doing a whole bunch of stuff with uh, this brand new collaboration, and, you know, to promote it, they actually uploaded a, a promotion video. Nothing out of the ordinary, of course, until you actually look at what was in that promotion video. This is actually a re-upload on YouTube that I found, because of course they deleted the original video on Twitter, which I don't blame them to. We're gonna get to that. So let's watch this video, let's figure out what's wrong with it, why did they have to take it down. It's gonna be pretty clear right off the bat exactly why they took it down. So, here we go. You've heard of Freddy, Golden Freddy. And just Freddy, as a clarification, Freddy, the text you're seeing on screen was Shadow not in the original Freddy, video. Phantom Freddy, Nightmare but I Freddy, think by now you've probably picked Phantom up Freddy, why Freddy, the community Golden was Freddy, in a bit of an outrage. Glamrock Freddy, and now, oh? Punk Rock Freddy. Wow, brand new FNAF animatronic, Punk Rock Freddy. Yeah, so <laughs> if you didn't notice already, this video was posted to the official you know, Cloak Twitter page, and every single render they used was a fan-made render. Obviously not a good look, so I don't blame them for taking it down. In fact, if you really want to know just how many, you know, fan-made renders they used, Ellie, Stupid Butterfly, actually compiled a Twitter thread of every single fan-made render, and they even linked back to the original artist, which is amazing. I'm gonna leave this thread down below if you wanna go check out the artists and some of their renders. They make pretty good stuff. So once Cloak found out that they didn't use official renders, they actually did the right thing, and they not only removed the post, but also made an apology post, which I'm gonna say right now, as much as I'm probably gonna dog on Cloak in this video, this is amazing right here. Let's say, we apologize for using fan renders without permission. It's never our intent to not credit artists, and we'll be sure to be more careful moving forward. Thank you all for pointing it out so we could take the post down before it hurt anyone. This is amazing. Not only did they issue a damn good apology, they also did it as soon as they could. Once again, I I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because they actually did the right thing here, and they did it pretty quickly too. So besides hiding like one or two comments of people, hi you know, calling them out in the comments, this was a very professional thing to do. So massive, massive shout out and thank you to Cloak for actually doing the right thing in this situation. Uh, and usually that's where this whole thing would end, right? Cloak made an oopsie, but they ended up fixing their oopsie. They issued a, again, very professional apology. They handled the situation very professionally. So why is this video still not done? Well, it's because this has been a recurring issue in the FNAF community with these companies. Not just Cloak, by the way. It also happens to, for example, Scholastic. Who could forget when the entirety, basically, of the Freddy Files Updated Edition had nothing but fan-made renders and assets used in their pages? Like, how do you mess that up? And it's not just Cloak and Scholastic. Funko has also had their fair share of oopsies using a speed edit of a withered Funtime Freddy on the box art for their uh, sister location action figures. But probably the most infamous case of all, the time a Funtime Foxy render and Spring Bonnie render from Pop Goes Memories was used for an official Scott Games teaser for Help Wanted. That is crazy. Scott had to issue not only one, but two apology posts on Reddit. I think what's crazy about all of this is that all of these companies have direct 
contact with Scott. And almost every single time, they even have official renders already provided by Scott. For example, going back to Cloak, they had a previous FNAF collaboration wave where, as you can see, these are official renders of Chica, Foxy, Bonnie, and Freddy. And also, another character they used in the promotional video that they already have a render of from last wave, Golden Freddy. So these companies already have not only renders provided by Scott, but also direct access to Scott. So why can't they just call him up, say, hey, you know, can you give us a few renders? We want to make a, a cool promotional video with all the Freddies. Even MatPat from Game Theory has full official renders of some of the animatronics. You may have seen the full body Scrap Trap render that got a big FNAF News uh, tweet the other week. But it's not just Scrap Trap. They also have Golden Freddy. This tweet sums it up pretty good. This could be due to MatPat trying to avoid fan renders, which, of course, they have done in the past. As you can see, they used another Pop Goes render in one of their Game Theory videos, and also, to make things a bit worse, in one of their collaborations with FNAF, with the Creator Inc., they used not only a fan-made render, but also it was a fan-made render of someone's original character. Like, how do you even mess that up? It's not even an official FNAF character. This is someone's OC. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you mess that up? I really don't know unless you just go to Google and you look up FNAF Bunny and oop, there it is right there. So at the end of the day, to close it out, conclusion, I'm just confused. Clearly what's going on here is someone on the social media team, you know, the manager or the PR team, just goes to Google, they look up, you know, FNAF Bunny or, like, FNAF Freddy Render, and they grab, like, the first image they see on Google. Which, as we've seen, has never worked out, so can we please stop doing that, companies? And I know Scott has kind of jokingly said, huh, maybe I should turn off their, their Google searches on their computers. Maybe you should! <laughs> I don't know! These companies definitely do need to do a better job at realizing what they're using, if it's official, at the end of the day, again, you have contact with Scott. I don't imagine he's that hard of a guy to get a hold of if you're doing an official collaboration with him. So I'm not making this video to tell you guys, like, hey, go dog on Cloak, because at the end of the day, again, they did the right thing. They took the post down, they issued a very professional apology. I'm just making this video to hopefully bring more awareness to this issue, because this has been happening for a long, long time. Again, the Freddy Files incident, the, the Funko sister location action figures, the Help Wanted teaser, the Creator Inc. stuff, like, there's too many situations that this exact problem has happened in, it shouldn't be happening. So I'm hopeful that maybe this is gonna get resolved, but again, because this has been happening so much, I, I don't really see that, you know, I don't really see the problem being fixed anytime soon, unfortunately. But that's gonna do it, uh, not only for this video, but also any possible chances I had at collaborating with Cloak in the future. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any other topics you'd want me to talk about, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I have other topics lined up, but also... I'd love to talk about what you guys want to see me talk about. Well, that's gonna do it for this quick Blocks Talks video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.